Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Get Lost Fun Adventure. My name is Kelly. We're here at SEMA 2019 and we are going to show you the best of what Overland has to offer from SEMA. The Overland industry has taken over SEMA 2019. I'm here at the Overland Experience where they have Overland classes and the majority of all of the Overland products. Let's go see what the best products for SEMA 2019 are. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment and be sure to subscribe. Today's episode is brought to you by AutomotiveWorship.com, the absolute best place to go for all auto care and auto detailing products. Hi, I'm Garrett from Yakima. I'm here at SEMA showing our new lock and load platform system uh, for the first time to the market. This is an exciting uh, new platform rack that allows people to really outfit their vehicles for overlanding and carry anything they need to, um, to get out and be prepared to, to get through whatever terrain they need. So you can see the platform here um, is very rugged. It's aluminum construction. Um, and comes in six sizes, so you have uh, various sizes to fit lots of different types of vehicles. Um, the uh, platform itself is uh, attached to, can attach directly to crossbars on a truck rack or any other rack system, or uh, you have the option on the Yakima system to go directly to our towers that can then attach to your vehicle. So lots of options to fit on all the various vehicles out there. Uh, this platform is super rugged and very useful. There's T-slots on all the surfaces on the top, and um, so you can just mount whatever you need. So in addition to the six sizes of platforms, we have a full line of accessories that allow you to attach things. So for example, we have the lighten up bracket. So this bracket can be used to attach light bars or spotlights anywhere you want on the front, on the back, on the sides to get the lighting placed in a customized spot on your vehicle. We have uh, this perimeter rail kit. So these rails can be put on the outside or the inside anywhere on the platform to mount accessories, give it a more enclosed look, and really just kind of contain your loads up there on top. Um, as you can see here on the side, we have the top grip, which is a, an accessory that clamps around to hold shovels, axes, um, also used for paddles, for kayaks, and stand-up paddle boards. So very versatile, it's lockable, and very easy to use. So you can see it just opens, closes, very secure, it's really strong and easy way to access your equipment that you might need um, in, a, in a quick emergency. So we also have a rack that holds your high lift jack. Again, can be mounted almost anywhere on this rack. We have a recovery track mount, so you can um, securely attach your max tracks or any other recovery track that you might have um, in a clean, easy way onto your platform. Um, and it's got a quick, easy removal, so Velcro strap, and then release this buckle, and they're, they're free. So you don't have to get out your tools um, to, uh, to get that, that product off and use it to get your vehicle um, going again. Again, also we have, uh, you can see in the back here, a jerry can. So if you have extra fuel, you can, uh, we have this cage and strap that holds on uh, jerry can. We have some corner brackets, so if you have a large bulky item like a case like this or a cooler, um, some storage boxes, you can kind of box them in with these corners, these straps to really ratchet it down and, and tie it down securely. Um, also, we have a spare tire mount uh, restraint that holds a spare tire on the platform if you want to use that space there. So, very versatile, all these accessories are available now with the lock and load platforms. And in addition to this, we have um, you know, all of our existing accessories like we have that will also work on this. So we have a kit that will hold uh, roto packs, and then all of our other bike mounts and kayak mounts, stand-up paddleboard mounts, all those things will attach directly to the lock and load platform. Um, so what we did was we designed this so that it would be compatible with that full system of accessories. So you can just attach to these slats that go side to side just like you would to any crossbar system by Yakima. So that's the lock and load system, very versatile, ready to outfit uh, any vehicle. We have one here on the Forerunner that uh, shows how it goes directly to the towers. It gives you lots of utility so you can mount your, you see this one has a light bar, you carry your rooftop tent up top, and there's an awning on the other side, so very versatile 
you to attach anything you want to your vehicle. So that's the Lock and Load platform. If you want to find out more information about it, go to yakamon.com. Thanks. Hey, Larry here with Dometic. Just wanted to talk a little bit about our CFX3 coming out February 1st. Um, basically, we kind of revamped our old CFX and did away with the corners where we used to have a piece that overlap. Now it's one single molding, which looks a lot more sleek as well as it's a lot more durable because it's one piece minus having these little caps on it. Uh, overall, it looks a lot more like a premium product and we, and we wanted it to look that way where it would be universal. We went ahead and did away with having the plastic handles now this metal uh, handle that looks a lot better, a lot more durable, and uh, like I said, just making it more compact and sleek. One of the, my favorite things about uh, the newer CFX is uh, inside we did away with a little dairy compartment which didn't cool before, so now the, it actually cools the whole area in which we're able to get an extra five quarts out of the same footprint. So this would be typically a 50, but now it's a 55. Uh, another really cool thing is underneath this basket on the 55, we added a ice maker that you can turn on. These are great for making a whiskey drink or wherever it may be while you're on the road. Because uh, now you don't really need that much ice anyway. You have this fridge, it's just like being at home, but you're in remote places. If it's a one day trip, a three day trip, or whatever it may be, uh, you know, you have the luxuries of a fridge just like at home. Uh, we also did away with the mat, cleaned it up to make it a little more sleek with the logo up top. Uh, another good thing is uh, the screen now, instead of being just a uh, really basic, like, you know, uh, you're able to actually see everything you're doing and setting the, the temperature to the battery protection or even uh, dimming the display. Like before that was something you couldn't do. You're able to do that as well. So you're kind of making it a little more user friendly. Before, uh, when you use the app, it would connect to Wi-Fi and, and there was a lot of issues with that. So we went Bluetooth, which works a lot better. And it actually will graph how much power you're pulling when you had spikes. So you're able to see with your system if you are charging the camera or a computer, or running a fridge, and all these other things, if you need more power, if you need more solar, or whatever. So uh, we're really just trying to step it up. But yeah, that's a, a little sum of the CFX3. Hi, I'm Mark Berryman from Reiner Height. I'm the founder. Um, we're coming into the US market. It's our first product offering with the JK Wrangler. I'll show you what it's all about. So, this is a Thermocon high impact ABS panel that's perfectly contoured to the vehicle. You see here we come around all the hinges and everything. But the best part about it is it's really easy to remove. Take it off, it's lightweight but really tough. We've got strong neodymium magnets on the internal face here. But they're all covered by really, really soft bump pads. And that's the only part of the panel that touches your vehicle. What you do is you offer it up and your car's protected. We've got a three millimeter air gap between the panel and the paint. So there's actually an air space there that's not gonna chafe on your vehicle. Um, any moisture that gets behind the uh, panel can evaporate away. Any dust is not gonna chafe your vehicle. Uh, the air gap also allows a little bit of impact resistance. So when the sticks come up, you know, in your tire and flick up, it's gonna absorb a lot of that shock to your panel. So when you take them off, it's fantastic. Um, the whole kit packs into a carry bag. Weighs about 25 pounds all up. Um, yeah, the whole idea is when you're airing down your tires, you chuck on your Rhino hide, go explore wherever the hell you want, come back home and your truck still looks brand new. Hey, this is Greg from Fab Fours. Uh, welcome to our booth, SEMA 19. And yes, we also brought an Overland rig. So it'll be interesting to see over time. Is this a fad or is it a trend? Either way, I love it. As a product designer and a leader in the aftermarket space of replacement bumpers, it's great to see anything that's gonna attract new customers to our industry. And Fab Fours, we've been at this game a long time in the armor business, from bump replacement bumpers, fender systems, sliders. Taking this platform with the Gladiator was just perfect fit for us. So right out of the gates, we knew that it was lending itself towards an Overland rack for the back, but well, we wanted to go the full length of that thing. And unlike the rest of folks that are just kind of sticking it on top of the roof, while that's easy and removable, I wanted it robust. 
put a heavy tire up there, jump on the rack, whatever you need to do. So we actually transcend the entire cab area from the rear rack all the way to the front A pillar. All included in the system and that allows you to just pile as much weight on there as you want. Furthermore, you realize once you start building this out, kitting it out with all sorts of things. You've got generator, refrigerator, slide out decks, and then the tent itself, that starts to get high. So one of the really cool side benefits of the products that we already make that are so robust is having basically an integrated scaffolding around the rear. You can step from the top of the fender to our integrated steps in the rear bumper, to the tailgate, to the bumper, to the fender. Basically staying almost three feet off the ground the whole time that you're working up high. So it's a really cool system, fully integrated, and in true Fab Force fashion, Everything you see on this Jeep is in stock nationwide right now. I don't care where you are, up in Oregon, Texas, doesn't matter. Tomorrow, if you wanted to go build your Jeep exactly like this, it's available. It's not coming soon, hasn't been modified for the show. It's in stock, ready to go, and you can have a rig just like this. So check us out at fabfours.com and see what we're up to. Hey, what's up guys? Tom Nybauer here from ARB. Uh, we're showing off our new dual zone fridges this weekend, this week, here at the SEMA Show 2019. Uh, the model I have my hand on here is our 102 quart, and we also came out with a 73 quart. Uh, something we kind of missed in the past was our uh, having the dual zone market. The vehicles are getting larger, they have more room, so people really want that be able to have frozen goods and and um, refrigerated goods, so we got into that market now. So key features to this is uh, this one has Bluetooth in it now, so we kind of have a nice upgrade. You can control the fridge from your phone. Uh, the new dual lids, you can pop the lids off, move them over to the other side, depending how you have it in the rig. So the neat upgrade we did to these as well is, especially in the more humid climates, you get condensation under the gasket here. We added a heating element underneath the gasket, so it keeps the condensation out, keeps the fridge the lid from getting frozen. We've also moved it around to the front. We've added uh, dual power ports on both ends, so you can have a 12 volt on both ends. The 110's now been moved to the front, along with the uh, USB uh, plug, so you can, if you need to charge something while you're running off the fridge. These are gonna be available here first, probably about first part of next year. Uh, this fridge here is gonna retail for about 15 and a half. This one's gonna be just under about 15. So uh, check us out, go to www.arbusa.com and everything else we have to offer, yeah. thanks. So that wraps up SEMA 2019 Overland Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again for AutomotiveWorship.com for sponsoring this entire trip. And be sure to leave a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe. See you guys next time.